Hello, welcome to our lesson today on triangles and circles. The way it looks here, it seems like it's circles and maybe a triangle, but anyway, this is our lesson today. We're going to be talking about circles and triangles and some of the things that we can do using both of them. First off, some vocab for today. The inside of a triangle is the first part that we're going to talk about. There's an in-center and an inscribed circle. And we'll see what these are, but the in-center is the point where the three bisectors of the triangle angles meet. And like I said, I'm going to show you what that is and where that appears. And then the inscribed circle or the in-circle is a circle drawn using that in-center. So this is basically what that means. When you have a triangle, any triangle at all, you bisect all of these angles. So here's one of our angles we can bisect using the, the protractor like or the compass like in some other lessons. You would mark here and then bisect all of these angles. And when you bisect, here we bisected this angle, we bisected this angle, bisected this angle, and the spot where they meet is called the in center. It's easy to remember because it's inside the triangle, it's about the center usually sometimes, um, but it's called the in-center and the bisector of all three angles, the point where it meets. Then, as we described before, if you draw a circle around the in-center, around there, and it's touching the inside parts of the, of the triangle, it's inscribed or an in-circle. So this is kind of easy to remember because it's inside and it's a circle, so it's an in-circle or an inscribed circle because we kind of scribe it on the inside there. All right, so those are two types of triangle and circle relationships that, that we have. The other one is a circumscribed circle or a circle that goes around the outside of the triangle and touches all three points. And to draw a circumscribed circle or a circumcircle, we need to find the circumcenter. There's a lot of circums going on there, and we're going to go ahead and show how to do that. The circumcenter is the point where the three perpendicular bisectors of triangles meet. So you'll take a triangle. Here's two triangles. We're going to do it with both of them because they have different examples. And what you're going to do is bisect each of these lines and draw the bisector. And those bisectors can be going in both directions. In this case, those bisectors meet inside the circle. See that? In this case, the bisectors, in this, this bisector, I had to draw in both directions so I could find out that they meet outside of the circle. In both cases, this is going to be the circumcenter, or the center of the circumscribed circle. And if you take the distance from this point to any of the vertices of this triangle and you start drawing a circle, you'll hit all three. So in other words, the distance from there to each of the vertices is the same, or a radius of that circle. Same with this. The distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here, or the distance from here to here. They're all the same. So when you draw those circles around here, and I apologize, the tools I had to draw the circles made it miss just by a little bit, but you can kind of see the point that if they hit here, boom, it's going to hit all the way around. And that is called a circumscribed triangle. All right, so we draw a circle that touches all three vertices of the triangle, and the center is the circumcenter, and that would be your circumscribed, it's circumscribed around the triangle because it touches all three vertices. See if I made the dots big enough, it kind of touched. All right, so those, that's a second relationship with triangles. So, now you've taken all of this information, what can you do with it? Well, let me tell you one thing you can do with it. You can make all sorts of friends, because you can tell them this. Each triangle polygon no, is known as a triangle. If you bisect all three angles of said polygon, the point they meet is the in-center. If you inscribe a circle with the center at the in-center, it's called the in-circle or an inscribed circle. If you then take the same triangle or a different one and draw the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of that triangle to the point where they meet is the circumcenter. If you draw that circle using the circumcenter as the center of the circle and the radius to any point vertice of the triangle, 
aforementioned three-sided polygon, it will touch all three vertices and is therefore circumscribed around the triangle. All right? I know I didn't follow this exactly, but I'm sure you can tell that that'll make you all kinds of friends at school. It'll make you as popular as this guy. That's a picture of me. <laughs> all right. Hope this lesson's been helpful for you, and have a wonderful day.